Today we're going to be solving problems with angles. For our example today, and for each of our problems, we need to find the unknown. So we're going to be using some algebra. Our first example, we need to figure out the unknown, and the combined angle measure is 100 degrees. So if these two angles combined, it equals 100 degrees. We know one of our two angles, which is 70 degrees, but we don't know our other angle, which we've written as x. And so that we need to figure out. So one way we could do this is we know that we have 100 degrees total. We know one of our degrees is 70. We need to figure out the other one. So what will complete this addition problem? 70 plus what will equal 100 degrees? I know that it's going to need to be 30. So 70 degrees plus 30 degrees equals 100 degrees. So x equals 30 degrees. And we always want to check our work. So 70 plus 30 does equal 100. So, we can move on to example number two. This time, the combined angle measure is 180 degrees. Here are our angles. So, we have one angle that is 60 degrees, and one angle that we don't know. Those combined equals 180 degrees. So, last time we used an addition problem to help us figure this out. For this one, I'm going to use another strategy. I'm going to use subtraction. So if there are 180 total degrees, and I have used up 60 of those that I know, I want to see what's left of our 180 degrees. So 0 subtract 0 is 0. 8 subtract 6 is 2. 1 subtract 0 is 1. So I get 120 degrees. So x equals 120 degrees. And if I check this, 120 plus 60 does equal 180. So that does work. We do have a combined angle measure of 180 degrees. I want you to try these next two, and then you'll unpause and check to see how you did. So for this one, I want you to figure out the unknown angle. So combined, they are 90 degrees, which we see that little square mark in the corner, which helps us know that. So even if they hadn't told us that combined these were 90 degrees, looking at that square angle in the corner, we would know it was 90 degrees. Once you have figured out what the unknown angle is, unpause it, and we'll check to see how you did. Okay, so if I had 90 degrees, and I know 30 of them, the unknown part that's left is 60 degrees. Okay, do one more with me. This time the combined angle measure is 130 degrees. And we have two angles. X is one, and the other angle it doesn't actually say, but if you look at it, you should be able to figure it out. Okay, so knowing this mark means 90 degrees, that can help us out. So we have 90 degrees plus, there should be a plus sign right there, plus x degrees equals 130. So what would fill that up would be 40. So 40 plus 90 equals 130 degrees. Okay, if you feel comfortable with those, let's move on to the four problems that we'll check in class tomorrow. If not, you may want to rewatch part of that again real quick. It's problem number one. Combined angle measure is 60 degrees, 
one of the two is 45 degrees, what does x equal? Number two, the combined angle measure is 180 degrees. One angle is 100 degrees. What is the unknown angle? Number three, the combined angle measure is 90 degrees. I should have a square right there. What is x when one of the angles is 45 degrees? And last of all, if the combined angle measure is 80 degrees, what is the unknown angle when one of our angles is 60 degrees? Bring these into class tomorrow and enjoy the rest of your day.